Every now and then we run across a video or a situation or something like that and we're sitting there thinking, can't wait to get this on, bonehead truckers. And this one, no, but it's Swifty Swift. And and the great thing about this is is that this is not a rookie. This is like a experienced driver. This is a someone who should know what they're doing. This is a driver mentor is what they call it over there at Swifty Swift. He's a freaking trainer, okay? He's a freaking trainer. This is at a truck stop somewhere in Georgia. It's a dry day, nice, beautiful day, dry, flat pavement. You think, how in the world can old Swifty Swift come and drive into a truck stop and flip it over? Of all people, does it have to be Swifty Swift? Does it have to be freaking Swifty Swift? And now he's blocking the whole entrance going to freaking truck stop. Oh, freaking Werner. Oh, freaking Western Express or Useless Express or whoever else. Oh, Prime Inc's in there saying, man, I was trying to get some daggone fuel. You're probably sitting there watching these and, you know, looking at these clips and, you know, looking at these pictures. I sure wish I had the freaking dash cam footage of this. I want to see how this happened. I wouldn't be doing a video like this unless we have dash cam. And let's take a look. Let's dissect the dash cam, okay? All right, let's go do that. As you can tell, I think... Me personally, I think this driver's going way too fast. I think he's going way too fast, takes his first turn without flipping it over. Congratulations. You make your first turn, but then you go over here to the second turn as he's turning in and he flips it over. And I'm over here sitting there thinking, how does this even happen? How? There's, there's no stinking way that this, this is even possible. This is not even freaking possible. I don't know. I, I just don't know what, how this is. So, so let's kind of dissect the situation. Let's pause it right here. As you can tell, there's a guardrail right here on the right. And it looks like there's probably a curb. This is a curb there. And, but you have this whole intersection. No one coming out. And as anyone would know, it's like, hey, this is a perfect situation because there's no obstacles, pretty much no obstacles. I'm like, okay, that curb on our right and our guardrail is out of the equation because we have so much room to swing wide. So much room to swing wide. You're thinking, how in the world does he flip this? Let's just go ahead and play it. And then he does. He flips it. And you're thinking, well, first of all, he's going too fast, but why does he cut it so stinking sharp? He cuts it so stinking sharp. Let's play this. He's cutting this thing way too dang um sharp right here. He just is, and he's going way too fast. Now, on the driver's Facebook page, because this is where I found it, he picked up this load. It was a drop and hook. It was pre-sealed, and you, as you guys know, when they're pre-sealed, you're not supposed to break the seal. You're putting a lot of faith in the shipper, but you should ask if you hadn't, you know, if you wanted to know where you got your paperwork. But a lot of times when you get a paper, your paperwork, it may be at the guard shack or whatever, and he may not be able to talk to the loader or the shipping people. It can be like after hours or whatnot. One of the things that you do know as an experienced driver, you look on your paperwork, you know what you're hauling. And most of the time, you know if it's a high, loaded trailer you know if it's high center of gravity by looking at it if it's a heavy load and then from from this incident i mean from looking at this is that it could be high but he also says in his facebook post is that uh, he picked up flooring and my experience of picking up flooring is that flooring is pretty heavy say like tile or the laminate flooring and a lot of that stuff are on pallets and they're not double stacked and even if they are, they're smaller pallets, so it wouldn't be high center of gravity. And it'd be really, a lot of this would be like on the floor, so there's really no excuse. And unless this is a different kind of flooring, he's calling it flooring, like it could be like carpet, it could be a lot of things that could be high center of gravity, because that they'll load carpet all the way to the top of the trailer. Um, and that could be the case in this, but I mean, when I think of flooring, I don't think of carpet, even though you put carpet on the floor, you know, I think of when it says flooring, it's like flooring, like 
You know, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that's just the way I see it. And there's no reason why I think that this driver should be doing this. Uh, even if, let's just say, benefit, give him benefit of the doubt, he didn't know that it was a high centered load. I'm sitting there thinking if you've got 20 years experience, like the, I think this driver says he's got 20 years experience, is that um, you kind of know. Like, again, you look on your paperwork, you know what you're hauling, but you will, you kind of know by pulling it, you say, oh, when you make your first turn, so, oh, I could tell this is a high load. Um, you can tell by, by, by looking at that. But my problem is, is this, no matter if it's a high centered load, high centered gravity, or, or not, even say if you're empty, if there's a, if there's a, uh, a curb right here, right here where he's turning, if there's a curb and your trailer tires hit that curb, it's gonna send the nose of that trailer kind of over. You know, it, it'll dip the nose of the trailer because that the back end is, is being lifted up. It's being lifted up. That means that the other side is, you know, somewhere if, if one trailer part of the trailer is going up, the other part of the trailer is going down. And he's going way too fast for this turn. And that's what I think tip flipped him over way too fast. So if we look at these pictures, you can't really tell what exactly what is hauling here, but you could definitely tell that this is a Swifty Swift. This is a Swifty freaking Swift. And he's, he, he laid it over in a freaking truck stop. A freaking truck stop, he freaking laid it over. And that can't be funny enough. It, it, listen, I know I'm kind of somber right now, uh, or whatever, but you know, you really actually got to laugh at this, you know, but I, where I'm just, I'm still flabbergasted, like, how, why? And I'm over here, you know, it's like, try to dissect this freaking video over here, and I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, yeah, he's just, again, going too fast. Swift, going too fast. Ima imagine that, old Swifty Swift driving dig him too fast. He would have thought that 25 years ago, huh? When they bought out freaking, who are they, uh, MS Carriers. You know, with Swift, it, the whole joke on Swift is like, they're not, real, they're not very Swift at all. They actually go very slow. This is a uh, lease operator. This is not a company driver. Um, so, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it happened? I would love to see your comments on this because I've got my own comments as you've heard. Uh, again, speed, but I, I just got to end with this. You, you know where I'm going. You guys have been, uh, you know, watching the channel for very long. You know where I'm going with this. Swing wide, it's a freaking trailer. You know, we've had Swing Wide It's a Friggin' Trailer t-shirt on Teespring for a couple of years now. Well, guess what? We've got a brand new updated version. It's right here and only on boneheadtruckers.com. You can buy this for yourself or you can send it to a Swift driver because they may need the reminder.